Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I remember when I had really aggressive cancer, somebody said to me, would you prefer to be happy, smart, or rich? Now, you have to remember, they told me to get my affairs in order and that I wasn't going to live more than five years, so be prepared. There was nothing more they can do. So that's a very different question than if you think you have decades of life in front of you. What would you pick? Happy, smart, or rich? Whether you're diagnosed with cancer, you're on treatment, you've just survived it, what's your perspective? And do you think it would change wherever you are in this cancer process? And then they said to me, what about your child? Would you rather have a child that's happy, smart, or rich? Because I did have a child. I was a single mom with full custody. What did I want for my child? Because they actually told me to start thinking about my legacy with my daughter and how she was going to be raised and who was going to raise her. So this question came because a person had listened to a radio talk show host and writer named Dennis Prager. Now, I didn't hear the show, but they had heard this show and they had asked me what I thought I would want to be and what I wanted for my daughter. Well, my answer at the time was happy. And it's interesting because they said, That's what this talk show host had said, because the world doesn't need another rich person or another smart person, but the world actually needs more happy people. So that was this whole premise. And it stuck with me all these decades since that person first proposed that question to me. Now, do I still feel that way? (laughs) I am happy that my daughter is intelligent and she actually is successful in her career. So she is financially independent. That takes pressure off me. But at the end of the day, if my daughter is not content, even happy, I'm sad. I feel the pain of her pain. So happy, we could play semantics about the word, content, what does happy mean, satisfied. I think we don't have to get that specific. I think we all understand where I'm going with this. It's just funny how a lot of people that I help through my work at the Comedy Cures Foundation and also through this Beating Cancer Daily podcast are very sick. And we always talk about what their values were and what their values are now, and if they do have radical remission, spontaneous healing, get a miracle, how would their life be different after surviving cancer versus the way they live their life and also their values before? And I work with a lot of people who are very smart and who have a lot of wealth and they still can't be cancer, and they're still struggling with their happiness. So it goes the other way too. I meet people who don't have much means, but they're still miserable about their life, or they don't have means, and they're actually super content with their life, and they do wish they had more money to get better medical treatment. So it's all over the place. I was just curious about this conversation because as I said, that's always stuck with me, that episode that this person told me about. 
and also reading a quote from John Lennon, which I want to read to you. When I was five years old, my mother always told me that happiness was the key to life. When I went to school, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment. I told them they didn't understand life. (laughs) That's John Lennon. That's a pretty sophisticated conversation for a five-year-old. The reason why I believe it is because my daughter was born with all her organs reversed and her heart is on the right, not the left. Her appendix is on the left, not the right. And I taught her at a very young age where her heart was so that if she ever got into medical trouble and they couldn't find her heart on the left, she was able to just point them to her heart on the right. And so she was very sophisticated about what her difference was with her organs. When she entered school and they were doing the Pledge of Allegiance, she put her left hand over her right-placed heart. And the teacher moved her hand and corrected her and said, honey, your heart's on the left. And she said, no, my heart is on the right. I have status and versus. All my organs are reversed. And the teacher didn't believe her and took her to the principal's office. Now it was in her medical chart there. So obviously the teacher just hadn't picked up on that. But you can be very sophisticated at five years old on certain concepts. So the John Lennon quote actually really mirrored what this talk show host was talking about and what my friend shared with me. So I like to check in with myself and I like to see, do I still believe that the thing that I want most in the world is to be content, blissful, happy, and have a life of play and laughter and joy? And it's still where I am today. And I guess having the Comedy Cures Foundation as a place where I can bring that sense of happiness and joy to others and then reflect it also through this Beating Cancer Daily podcast is still really important to me. So I'd love to know where you're holding on this. What's the most important thing to you right now? Being happy, being smart, being rich? What's the most important thing that you teach your children if you have children? That they should be happy, that they should be smart, that they should be rich? Are you a combo plan? Go to the Comedy Cures Foundation website. You know I love when you tell me. And hit the record button and let me know or contact us through the contact menu and write to me. So I hope that you find joy in these recordings. I hope you have a blessed day, whichever one you choose is your goal today. And I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to comedycures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law. Because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair, April 1999, and we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.